guys, before we continue, I found that 84% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Click that subscribe button to support truth and click the like button to keep these videos circulated within the YouTube algorithm. Thank you for your support and truth. Let's get back to it. Um, I'm on a new level right, right now. And this level is beyond my personal beliefs. <laughs> Before I continue, I want to introduce the subjects of this narration for those who are not familiar with these characters. Also, I want to announce a disclaimer that I do not align with the beliefs of either of these men. Okay, I do not align with their doctrine because neither of these men believe that Jesus Christ is God. However, this gentleman at the bottom left corner, Deacon Sakari or Deacon Destruction Mode, he makes some great points about the satanic agenda of Newbreed, who has denounced his affiliation with the Hebrew Israelites, a conglomerate of several different camps. So I'll let this brother speak and give my take on the whole situation. So I want you guys to say, what is this reek of? What is this reek? We can't be a respecter of persons, right? We, ha we can't be impartial in our judgment. So I want you guys to use your thinking caps along with the scriptures we're going to bring out and say, what is this reeking of? Is it giving agent? Is it giving sellout? Is it giving implant? Is it giving two third vibes? Is it giving uh, fall out the truth? Fell out the truth. Is it giving fall by the wayside? What is it giving? It's giving all the above. I have stated many times on this channel that most people are going to the lake of fire when they die. According to Matthew chapter 7, 13 through 15, which says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it, because narrow is the gate and difficult is the way that leads to life. And there are few who find it. Verse 15, beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. Notice how Christ followed up verse 14 and verse 15 with beware of false prophets, because they're the reason many will fall by the wayside. All right. Matthew 24, 11 says many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. But continue in the community is potentially going to be and it's open. He's going to say it for pagan religions, transgenders, homosexualities, any race of people. So we got to think about this, y'all. Right. That's what's so alarming about what New Breed said. He left the door open for what Deacon calls a pagan oasis. Now, in fairness to New Breed. He made a video loosely responding to Deacon, claiming that he is not the owner of the land, so he does not determine who comes on the land. But you will still be judged because you are making a covenant with the heathen. It's giving leading these people astray because people think he's about to go build a community on 115 acres in North Carolina where there's a land purchaser. Now, let me get this. Let me tell you, let me spoiler alert. Later on, they talk about there's a land purchaser. It's not their land, but there's a land purchaser. Maybe the land purchaser is a white man who said, yes, you guys can use my land, but it can't be for no goddamn black Hebrew Israelites. Exactly. It would not shock me if that's how the conversation went. I have said this before, that you cannot build a righteous community practicing the law of Moses, specifically polygyny under the captivity of the heathen we must endure to the end when the most high returns to deal with esau for his violence and treachery against judah he said that's his personal beliefs now watch what follows um i'm on a new level right right now and this level is beyond my personal beliefs <laughs> he said it he said it so Keep in mind, y'all, he said, I'm an Israelite. I believe in the Most High and I believe in the Bible, but that's my personal beliefs. So he said what he's about to do now 
his new journey is beyond being an Israelite, the God of the Bible, and the God itself. Last I checked, according to Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 through 3, Christ is the author and finisher of our faith. Trying to go beyond that is a deal that you've made with the devil. And as I've stated before, the devil don't get screwed on the deals he makes with men. The scriptures say anyone who climbs up another way is a thief and a robber. This is the definition of selling your soul. You want to build this community and be affluent and opulent and, and acquire riches and wealth and acres. And so you know you're not going to be able to do it with this poor Israelite community. Therefore, you're opening up to all religions, belief systems, backgrounds, and races. And so now your, your moral compass has to go, be put on the back burner now, and that won't even be the standard in your community. And dumbass Israelites are on this chat. They're about to go there. I wouldn't be surprised if them niggas drank Kool-Aid and said a spaceship was coming and everybody died. This this is this is the making of a goddamn cult member, a cult leader. They want to say we're a cult. This is very cultish. Right. He is a cult leader. To what I have to say. And if you don't want to uh you know get canceled, maybe maybe if you came on here, you might get canceled. I don't know. This is why I'm saying if you can't say it publicly, if you have to say it behind the scenes, is is the is the land purchaser watching? Is the land purchaser watching? If you if you really say now now let's say this new breed might be hitting the move maybe he's hitting the move maybe he's maybe the land purchaser is saying you got to publicly denounce your faith <laughs> and put that to the side because of the community and maybe you're doing that to get the community and then when you get the community maybe you'll 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 operate you know through the Bible on within the community maybe I don't know but one thing ain't nobody gonna make me do is publicly denounce something and say that's just my personal beliefs and then what you'll do is say oh I'm gonna build a community outside of my personal beliefs no that's different now if it's a business that's one thing if I have a business you know yeah all races come by come by from my uh from my business but a community where you're saying yeah come live there set up your churches there set up your shrines set up your altars sacrifices to your gods any race any belief no we're not they're not living in our community God said what God is a separatist Exactly. Heaven is the most segregated place ever. You won't find a more segregated place than heaven. Scriptures say the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take by force. Every day the devil is warring after your soul. Okay? Because he knows he's going to the lake of fire and there's nothing he can do to change God's mind about it. Only blood bought born again believers in jesus christ will inherit the kingdom of god and i believe the so-called white man yes he can be saved okay he can be saved he just got to come out of them houses and restore the blood money the filthy lucre okay he's lived in the fatness of the land thinking all of these false doctrines teaching all of these false doctrines uh once saved always saved the pre-tribulation rapture and all this foolishness. He thinks he's going to escape the judgment. Not all white people, not all, all right? But you must understand that that's a generational curse that was mentioned in the scriptures in Genesis chapter 25 and Genesis chapter 27 because Esau sold his birthright for a morsel of food. And that's a generational curse that's on the Gentile nations. That's why they've inherited the fatness of the land in this dispensation. Okay, but like Christ said, what good is it a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? All right? The scriptures talk about a deceitfulness of riches. Okay? So, yes, the so-called white man can be saved. All right? He just has to get over his deceitfulness of riches because Satan has blinded him with deceitfulness of riches. And even if he does come to Christ and repent of his sins, his fate shall be as a servant in the new Jerusalem. Okay, you don't like that? Take it up with the Most High. It's written in the scriptures. They were what? They were second class citizens and they could not commit idolatry in our land. They couldn't just we we weren't in Israel two thousand years ago saying all races, all religions, all personal beliefs and backgrounds are welcome. No, they had to abide by our legislative system, which is the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? 
So he, you know, Newbury, you, you you're saying it hit you hit you behind the scenes. I'm not personally offended at this. You put uh you put a public video out, and I'm responding publicly. I'm not personally offended at at what you're doing. So therefore, I have no need to hit you behind the scenes. You made it clear in your video. You said it's clear. This is what you said. You said let me make this clear, and you said what you said. Any extra context you should have put in that public video, right? So it says the most high divided the nations when he separated the sons of Adam. We're not supposed to be making this pagan oasis where all uh, uh, races can come. Oh, that's bars. A pagan oasis of all races, brother. Bars, right? Well said. A pagan oasis of all races. I mean, you're not exaggerating here. And then allow all these races in this community because it's being funded by. This is why I rather say let's just. Let's just try to piece it together and have our own community with what we have. Because if you go to these other races, these other ethnicities for the money and for the investment, they're going to have a say in what goes on on that community. So I do get that. But never will I say, oh, since the white man invested in it, you know, let them come, let them worship Satan, you know, let them. Know. Is this your community? Is this your community or not? Uh, nevertheless, a lot was said in this video that I need to address, so I must do a second part under a different title. New Breed, yes, he is looking like a black David Koresh. I mean, he has Brother Polite written all over him. I mean, this end definitely does lead to destruction. Uh, Brother New Breed, you will inherit the eternal lake of fire if you do not repent of your sins. If you do not turn from your wicked ways, you're looking for a way out outside of the patience and endurance of the saints mentioned in the scriptures. OK, you can call me religious all you want. Look, it takes time to get your head in these scriptures and learn the truth and pray and fast to the most high so he can reveal himself to you. OK, stop looking for ways out and looking to please yourself in the flesh. All right. Don't let your flesh write checks. Your soul cannot cash in the afterlife. It's about fates and gates. You got to have faith and you're going to need God's grace.